want him to take us to the top, people. It's dead clever. Jordan's a natural for this job. He's so well known along the river, they wouldn't stop him if he was flying the skull and crossbones. He's in it, Uncle. Up to his neck. Or maybe they're just using him. He's putting in. Just tuck yourself in beside that barge. Aye. Parker, we won't be long. Come and have a drink while the wife gets ready. Whistle up a car and tell him to pick up Jordan. Then comb the place for Brother Hammond. If that's all right with you. He's been pretty careless with those loaded oars. He's put them... Look! Tattooed hands. I'll bet he's a bloke that got Dane. Put the super in the picture, will you? Yes, sir. Right, off you go, Skipper. It looks as if he's heading for the London Apprentice. See that? Tom Teal? Yeah. Monday the 21st at 6 o'clock. That's just what it says in the old girl's diary. Well done, Uncle. We haven't got much time. Look, Jim, get back on the radio for cars. Tell them to come in by the pub and by the church. Tell them let everyone in until we get on that boat. Then nobody out, right? Come on. pretty chicks. They're on their way. Good. We've got two killers now, that sailor and Hammond Barker. Plus Bodney hurt it for good measure. I knew I didn't like him. Come on. Uh, you see, with this kind of dinghy, you can fit an outboard motor. You don't need one of those big ones. The attachment's already there. There's one of our cars. Put your bloody lights out. Put them out. I'll try and fix this bloke, and then you tell our chaps to move in. Shut 
shove off, mate. This is private property. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a police raid. The boat's surrounded. So don't let's have any trouble. It seems we have no alternative. What the game of Harrison? Harrison? He was on deck, on watch. Oh, so that was Harrison, your butler. Well, he'll wake up to face a charge of murder, a charge which will implicate you, sir. Come on, Herder. You've only got one round left and you're a dead duck. Come on, Inspector. One more like that and you will be a dead duck. Interested. I'm going to stick this up here. Give me ten seconds and switch it on, but keep your bloody head down.
go, don't you? Did you know all the time? My faith in my brother turned out to be a bloody lie, didn't it? The thing I can't get over is he's using me to carry the stuff that really killed Ursula. I think Polita's going to need a little help just now, don't you? Seems to fit. Super's talking to your friend and my friend, Hammond Barker, and we should have a confession in a few minutes. Confession? Hammond Barker. Yeah, not to murder, Sam. Why not? Hammond Barker did not kill Ursula Gray. Must have done. Everything points to it. Found his pen in the garden. Oh, yes, yes, I know. He was there that night. He went to get the tape back, but he didn't kill Ursula Gray, because when he got there, she was already dead. That's a fact. That's a fact. Right back to square one. Great, sir. Still, you've done damn well so far. The AC's cheering. I was thinking, sir, huh? there's not much left in the pack, but we have still got Mr. P. Brown and that built-up picture. We know Ursula had a date with someone called Phil or Philip on the night she was killed. Excuse me, Mrs. Gray. You told me that your name was Mrs. Edith Gray. Are you also known as Phil? Yes, Inspector. So you were with your daughter on the night she was killed? Yes. Peter. She made me go to see her. She wanted to tell me about you and the Clarence Hotel. She was boasting so much about that afternoon. She went on and on. She wouldn't stop. She was still laughing when I shot her.